Hi, I'm Dom Kane, and today I'm going to take a look at Liquid Notes for PluginBoutique.com. Uh, it's a music composition and harmonization tool. So let's take a look and I'll show you what it can do. So this is Liquid Notes. It's a standalone application for creating compositions and harmonizing songs. When you load it up, you'll have this welcome screen in front of you where you can either drop an existing MIDI track on this section here to have it analysed or down here you can use the advanced modes using Logic, GarageBand or other sequences. However, for the purpose of this demo, I'm going to click here to start. I'll then be notified of a quick start help PDF opening up at the same time, which we don't need right now, so I can click on the box and hit OK. Now Liquid Notes has loaded up a demo song for us. The timeline goes from left to right as you'd expect and there is an overview along the top showing the chord of each bar and the centre of the screen although looks like a mixer each slider here represents one half bar in length of the arrangement. So I'll just hit play on it now and show you what the demo is like. So for example, the first bar is A minor, as you can see here, but using the slider below, I can change that chord to be anything from the tonic being A minor, up to the dominant fifth being a G. So let's put that back down to the tonic, and then we'll grab the fourth bar and raise that to the dominant fifth like this. And then now let's hear that playing. In fact, you can actually grab any one of these sliders and move it to any position and in theory the chord will be in scale. Now to prove that, I can set this to loop the first four bars by highlighting this area here and then clicking the loop button next to the rewind, stop and play buttons here. Now if I hit play, it will loop that section and I'll just throw around the sliders and see what happens like this. Now let's say I want to be more creative than just using the 1st, 4th and 5th in the scale. Above the sliders are two dials called Tension and Chord. Uh, the Chord one is fairly obvious in that it changes the chord. So if I drag the 1st bar chord up to A for example, it'll mean the 1st bar is in A and the rest of it is in A minor, giving the track a chord change and sounding like this. Now the tension dial basically adds harmonic extensions to the chords. So if I grab both the ones in bar 3 and start to dial them up, then that will create a bit more tension in the chords and sound like this. Chords in this style are fairly limited so that they don't stray away too far from your original track, but you can actually change those restrictions in the settings menu and get some really experimental chord progressions going on. However, if you know the chords you want, you can click on the chord name like this and then choose it directly like this. And you can always see the chords at the very top of the screen along here. 
Above these you'll find the menu buttons and there are two extra ones here, instrument selection and reharmonize settings. If I click on the instrument settings one now, then you'll see I'm given the options to change the instruments playing or mute and solo any of the others too. So for example, let's say I just want to focus on the main bass and lead piano parts, then I can click solo on the acoustic grand piano parts here, and then when I play the song it will sound like this. Now if I open up the reharmonizing options, you can see that this allows me to set which instrument sticks to which rules. So for example, you can see that the bass line sticks to the bass root note of the song, but you can choose any of these to either fit the scale of the song or just the chords of that bar. Finally over here, you can keep an instrument adding a little tension by sticking to the chord, but maybe adding a diminished 7th or 9th to the chord too. Then once you're happy with the arrangement, you can click on File, and then Export, and then export it to a door of your choice. Now let's say you've written your own track in a door, and you've got some bass notes, some chords, and a top line. Well this is where Liquid Notes really starts to come into play now. So I've written some myself, and saved the MIDI files to my desktop. So all I need to do now is grab these three MIDI files and drag and drop them onto Liquid Notes like this. Then it'll ask me if I want to combine them, which I do, and then it'll ask me which output source I want to use. So I'll just choose the default built-in synthesizer for now. However, notice that you can choose Logic, Live, Studio One, Cubase or other so that if you have the correct routing set up, then you can trigger the MIDI through your main door and then record it directly back into there. So I'll click next for now, and then you can see the MIDI file names down the left, which I called chords, tops, and bass. And down the right hand side, it's asking me what I want to assign these to. It's actually recognized which one is which here, but if I wanted to change it, I can click here and assign it as Melody, Chords, Bass or Percussion. So then I can click Next, and it's now opened up the project file for me. Now if I select the whole phrase as a looping point, like this, I can then turn on the looping button here, and hit Play to hear it through a couple of times like this. So now of course I could change that up by sliding the first three sliders to the dominant fifth. And then it sounds like this. Or if I wanted to move the chord dials up one on those like this then they'll become sustained chords, so it'll sound like this. Now let's say you're completely stuck for creative ideas, and you need to get something to spark it for you. Well again, this is where Liquid Notes comes in to help. By going to the file menu and clicking load template, you can choose from movie themes, progressive, electro, deep house, funk, latin or more vague templates like 4-4 pop, block chords, arpeggio and more. And these can be in major or minor scales, and then you can choose your key below that. So let's choose the deep house one for now, and then let's use the built-in synthesizer again. And there you have it, some basic chords and drums for you to start with. 
So that's the basics of Liquid Notes and it's available through PluginBoutique.com now. Cheers. See you soon.